John Edwards here talking about contamination control fundamentals, specifically uh, hydraulic elements and element performance and what makes one manufacturer uh, better than the other. Uh, in the industry, most uh, filter elements are, are rated uh, using a multi-pass test. Uh, that's wherein in a lab type environment the manufacturer can put in X number of particles into the system upstream of the filter uh, and then measure the amount of particles downstream of the filter and from that they can know exactly how much particles is caught, how many particles are caught by the filter element uh, and from that determine the efficiency of the filter and that's where beta ratios come from. Uh, without getting into the old calculations of beta ratios, the beta ratio actually lets you know uh, what size of particles a, a filter element may be catching and what efficiency rate is doing it. Um, if you've got a filter element that's catching 99.5% of all the particles that come in, that's pretty good. We call that high efficient, but at thousands of particles per milliliter, it's still pretty important to get a high efficient, uh, high beta uh, uh, filter. Also, what's important is the beta stability. Uh, that actually lets one know uh, how the element performs as it starts to fill up with particles during the life of the filter element. Uh, most all manufacturers will, will have a good performance when the, when the element is clean, uh, but as, as it starts to fill up and, and has uh, 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 pressure pulses, uh, how does it perform? That's, that's beta stability is the way we me measure that. Uh, pressure rating is the amount of uh, pressure drop that it takes for the fluid to get from one side of the filter to the other. Um, and uh, the trick is to catch the particles with as low a pressure drop as possible. Um, that's also important and also the collapse rating. Uh, some of these filters are used in high pressure applications where the differential in pressure is pretty high uh, and the core tubes have to be made out of more solid material uh, as not to internally implode or, or crush inside the filter housing.